guys, here we are back at the Smelly Cat House. It's less smelly now, um, but one thing I wanna talk to you about before we get going inside is how awesome it is to be able to set your own schedule when you flip houses. And what I mean is my son last night went to bed with 101 fever, so I didn't wanna leave the house this morning until he woke up. So he slept until 11.30 this morning, and I got to stay home. I get, I, like I said, I set my own schedule. So I show up when I wanna show up and do what I wanna do during that day, and I love that about this. Most of the time I do like to stop by when the contractors are actually on site, but the great part is they don't have to be. I just still get to see what I need to see. So let's go inside and take a look. Okay, so here we are inside and you know, when you first walk in, there are a few things that are different. I got my wish and I got to get my laundry room bumped into the garage. There's still enough room for a one, one car in there. And we did add that door too. There was not an entrance in from the garage before. You actually had to go outside and then back in. So I'm, I'm happy with that addition there. It didn't take up any real usable wall space because the couch and furniture will go over there. But that way they have a nice way to get inside. And in the Northeast, that's great because it's pretty much always snowing or raining, <laughs> raining here. So, um, and then we also, be, we got rid of the one window that was in the kitchen. So um, I wanted to make the glass here a little bit bigger. So we put in those double doors and look at the light that just floods in. It, it looks really, really pretty. When we get that deck all um, sanded, sanded and stained, that's just gonna make that backyard look really beautiful and, and welcoming for a new buyer. So. As I'm looking around in here though, there's some sheetrock that's been done, there's some mudding and taping that's being done. We did have a few holdups here and there with uh, inspections. When you're doing a lot of electrical and plumbing and construction work, you know, where we actually took out this wall in between the kitchen and the living room, those things do need to be inspected, which we always encourage everybody to do. Um, you don't want to get red tagged by the, by the towns or the cities, so we always encourage that but it can hold up the job a little bit because you're waiting on other people's schedules. So let's kind of take a look around at the around the corner at the bathroom. So not a whole heck of a lot to see in here. Um, it's, again, it's just all getting prepped. A lot of the rough end plumbing, the rough end electrical has been done. One of the things I do like to add in, in my showers and tubs is a niche or a niche, depending on how you say it, just because there's nowhere else around the tub to put shampoo bottles and soap and everything. And, and it's a cool place to put like an accent tile. Your field tile is your inexpensive tile. That's your two, three, four dollars a square foot stuff. But you can put like one band of accent tile around it and then accent or um, put that tile in the, in the niche. And it gives it that really custom feel instead of just being so plain. And you're not using as much of that because that's more like 10, 12, 15 bucks a square foot. So just a little trick there. Let's head upstairs and see what's happening. All right, so the biggest thing up here that we're gonna talk about is also the bathroom up here. Bedrooms are pretty easy. Bedrooms are paint, carpet, refinish the hardwood if it has it, put a new light fixture in, maybe pop some new doors on. There's, bedrooms aren't typically that exciting. But what sells houses is kitchens and bathrooms. So we always try to make those really shine. So we replaced the skylight, it was all busted. This, if you remember from the previous videos, this was a half bath. It actually had a stack pipe that was going up right about here. So we bumped this wall out just a little bit into the bedroom, buried that stack pipe in the wall and used PVC instead of uh, the big metal pipe. So it gave us a lot more room and flexibility. And before you could only access this bed bathroom from one of the bedrooms. So we put the door in the hallway in between the two bedrooms. So now this, this, bed, this bathroom is accessible from both bedrooms, which makes it a lot more functional especially because neither of those bedrooms were a great master bedroom. So we'll put a vanity in, toilet, nice shower. It'll have a little ledge there. We can't build the wall straight up because it would go into the skylight. So what we're gonna do is just build like a six inch little bench seat. It won't really be a bench because it's not wide enough, but it's a good little ledge to put shampoo and whatnot. And then that wall will go straight up. So I'm excited to show you that when it's done and see how awesome that tile looks. All right. I think that does it for the inside. Now let's go take a look at the outside. So the windows have been installed. The new roof has been put on. There's a new garage door on. So we're, we're making progress on the outside. It looks like they still need to put up the gutter again and pressure wash and put new shutters up. Um, and this lawn definitely needs some TLC. <laughs> it's a little out of control. It's starting to look a little welcome to the jungle-ish. But, um, you know, overall, would I like to have seen this job a little further along at this point? Absolutely. But again, there's sometimes there's delays that you just are, at, they're out of your control. You don't know, you can't fix them, especially if you're waiting on inspectors. 
So I hope you've enjoyed this tour and I hope you stick along for the next one. Make sure to like and subscribe our channel so that you can uh, take advantage of all of the future videos that we have. And make sure if you have any questions or comments, put them in the, in the comment section below and we will answer those personally.